video about some airsoft. No, fucking hell. Oh, come on. on that, Spin this dip. Right. I, Spin mate, this dip. Fuck. So, so it all stemmed. Stems, it still happens. I get daily hits from, from airsofters. Now, don't be wrong, right? And I did a video saying, you know, I... I've not got an issue with airsoft. There's a lot of my really good mates do airsoft and they absolutely love it and they're all over it. But you get some fucking waltz out there, mate. And yeah, you have to do a disclaimer there. Yeah, nothing against professional, like, not professional, against airsofters doing no. the airsoft, the airsoft. No, no, they, no. I, you know what? I've got, I've got mates that do it. They love it. They absolutely, they're all over it. But then there are airsofters that do it because they want to think they're military. Oh, yeah. As in... Yeah. Yeah, they want to they want to give people the impression they're military. Well, you reckon? I don't know if it's the impression that, but they essentially cut. I mean, I'm all for people. If people want to go and dress up on the weekend and run around the woods, then go crazy. Um, but when I so I'll I'll do some firearm stuff, uh, whether it's here or overseas or whatever, um, or I'll I'll be doing stuff on bomb disposal or, you know, I had a guy I had a guy read my autobiography and he came back to me going, you know, piece piss that, go over it, <laughs> <laughs> and I was like. Fucking hell, mate. All right. And I was like, you know what? Everyone's How many bombs did you uh, did, uh, uh, make safe? Uh, How many IEDs? I mean, I've done, I've, done a, I've done a few. Um, Hundreds? Yeah. I've done, I've done a lot. I've done <laughs> Piece a, of piss, mate. Piece of piss. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, so, yeah, this, it initially started. I had this guy reach out saying, I read your book. And I thought, that was really nice. Um, and he went, yeah, I'm pretty, pretty sure I'll be all over that. Just as I, and then he went into, just as I took up tactics, piece of piss. And I was like, oh, fucking hell, here we go. This guy ex-military? No. No. Um, Did you know at the time? Full, full blown softer, mate. Full blown softer, and and it was just I'm, I'm into tactics, I'm into this, and I'm into that, and you should do. And I'm like, mate, come on now. And you you do get them, um, and they'll reach out saying, you know, you know, you you anything anything military. It's, it's, it would be like me telling you how to jump out of an airplane, and I've never done it before in my life, and saying, are oh, you pulling your fucking strings wrong or I, I don't know I've never jumped out of an airplane on my own pulling your strings uh, wrong <laughs> you're, you're pulling your strings string wrong. wrong I've Wait, been doing it wrong well, my entire it. life I, uh, I wasn't pulling your strings, 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 strings wrong mate. yeah or, or whatever it is and I'm like fucking hell mate and then you go I, I, this one guy when I just thought I'll have a look I, was, I know he's an ass so I went on and I mate he's cutting around in a pair of cry precision pants um, Ali Ali as fuck you know nothing wrong cry precision it's an awesome kit but and I, I, I think, I don't know if it's that video, in a beer garden with a big can of super and a big, and like, got hanging out. And Hang like, on, he's in a pub beer garden with his cry, cry yeah, yeah. trousers on. Because it's cool. Um, Did he have the knee pads in? Yeah, full blown. Oh, amazing. Full, fucking awesome. <laughs> yeah, I think they were new as well, so they'd never, never been fucking. What was he drinking? Never been fucking. What you, fucking Carlin? Can of Carlsberg. fucking can of, can of super or something. Yeah. Fucking, was he vaping? It was just, I don't know, mate. But, he just, <laughs> but I was like, fucking you mess, mate. I was like, come on now. <laughs> And you just get, and you know, and it's various and had another one giving it, I'm a, I'm a, an airsoft umpire and I deserve the same respect as special forces because I teach tactics. No. And, and I was like, mate, no, no. Gen, mate, Jen, serious. Jen, mate. And it's just like, all right, fuck, did you really just say that out loud? And I'm like, I'm all for people. I'm Is on a video? No, no, this, this was uh, d DM to me. Oh was like, DM into me and I'm like. Oh Fucking hell, mate. All right, and, oh I, and but I've I've met I've met guys like that as well. You know, you go to the shooting shows and all that sort of stuff, and you know I'll go and meet people, um, or I'll do talks or or whatever it may be, and then they, I'm all for it. I'm all for people going out and having fun and what they're passionate about. But when you've got some dude who clearly is allergic to the gym, standing in front of you giving it tactics, my primary, my secondary. <coughs> this, that, and the other, and I'm like, and he stood there in, you know, like cry precision, thrown up all over him, and you're like, mate. I wonder. I am. I know a few ex-military who do airsoft. I think I know a few ex-military airsoft, and I can see why. Like, I can see the appeal of it. Yeah, absolutely. Well, I can a, see the appeal a, of it. It's a laugh. It's if gonna be the next closest thing to going down D range in fucking Brecon, like that. A civil like. It's not the next closest thing to battle, right? Well, maybe it is for civvies, but but I can see the appeal. But I wonder, right? If there's, if I do wonder, if they would be better off if you picked them up, picked an airsofter up, and dropped them into a an actual situation in a another country, actual contact, actual battle somewhere, right? Whether they would fare better than the av average civilian, and I think they would, you know. Well, you know. I think they would. They must do it. 
They, I mean, to a, to a so certain extent. What does that say about it? I mean, they, obviously they're watching all the right videos. Kind, what, what kind if, of. What if, what if Russia invades. I'm fucking hell, mate. Russia invades and this, the force that saves Britain, kicks the Russians out, is an amalgamation of ex-military and operational air softers. <laughs> I'm I, telling you, mate. Mate, I, ha- I have. And we borrow weapons from America because they've got them all. Well, I have them. I, I, <laughs> I, ha- I think I did a video. I did a video not long ago about airsoft a guy. Airsoft reserves. You could do it. Mate, I, I had a guy. There's something there. I had a guy stating to, saying to me, you know, I'm thinking about going out to Ukraine, this airsoft guy. Oh, no. Um, and I was like, mate, <laughs> fucking don't. I was like, please don't. <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm all for it. I mean, support it, but donate money or, or, or your kit. Donate your kit because you've clearly got too much money because you're buying all the Gucci stuff. Um, And then there was another one that gave it, you know, when, oh God, I can't remember what it's something like when, when our, our troops are away and the enemy is here or the enemy's at our front door, who do you think is going to, who do you think they're going to send to protect people like you? And I went, you fucking what? And I was, I was like, they, and that's what it was. It was, it was they, like the, the government. The government are going to send air softers to protect wow. civilians in the UK because all of our armed forces are away. Well, let's do a little thought experiment Fucking here. Fucking legend, though. mate. Kim, let's do a little thought experiment here, mate. The Russians are coming, right? You and I, we are running the MOD, right? You are the Minister for Defence or whatever, Fucking whatever you call him. And I'm that Home Secretary, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> Whoever's involved, right? I don't know. We can have some other mates in there, whatever other positions to make them up. So it's mates' rates. I mean, you're in politics, c- it's mates' rates. Co- conscri- yeah, conscript yeah, yeah, yeah. airsofters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Minister for Airsoft, right? <laughs> Get them in. And we are like, we need to decide who best, who is best, what, what parts of society are best to, to arm, least risk arm, and defend the nation. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say. Serving military here who are biffed up, but can still there's, they're like they're like walking wounded. Okay. They can still hold a weapon, right? Ex ex military, anyone, anyone ex military, right? And there's a third, there's a third <laughs> group. The third in, arm. <laughs> there's a third group in. There is a third group in that maybe you could argue. Uh, I've got more experience than other parts of the civilian. Uh, civilian parts of uh, of the population that you could maybe arm. You know who I'm thinking. There's also a fourth, mate. There's a fourth. Am I right though? Xbox players. Xbox. <laughs> Call of Duty, mate. To be honest, <laughs> fucking those guys. Those guys clear up on the battlefield. I I used to I used to play. I used to say I used to play. I used to play Xbox with my eldest, and and some of those kids. Yeah. They're all over it. I mean, I lasted about three, not even three minutes on, on an Xbox game. I got destroyed by some like 13 year old. <laughs> so, probably the 13 year old probably knows more about how the guns work than the airsoft guys. Back to my point don't avoid the conversation. <laughs> I, th- there is an argument to be made. Well, if we were strapped, would you, would you arm airsofters? Would you, oh, hang on, hang on. Would you see them as less risk to arm? And more likely to survive than general population. Hold on a minute. You've given me two before that. You gave me biff chits and you gave me veterans. Yeah. And then you gave me air softers. Yeah, we're doing the biff chits and veterans. But here's the question then. Would you agree? <laughs> fucking wouldn't agree. <laughs> <laughs> that air softers, not happening, mate. Air softers are, are less, if you were to put a weapon in their hands, they are less risk of being a drama with that weapon, more likely to understand how to use that weapon, and more likely to survive a battle than, a, than other civilians are. No, mate. What I would do... Why would you mean? Would you do, know the answer, I yes. Put, I, put the fucking, I put the softers in the stores with all the... Because they know the good gear. They're good at kit. They know the good guns. G4. And they can issue, yes. And they can issue the gear to the fucking airsofters now. No, I'm sorry, mate. So they can... Although, unless we've got... A ex, storm, ex, Unless we've got ex-vets and serving military that do airsoft, we'll have those guys. There's better people for storming. Like, which parts of the society guys. would you have as a storming? Who would be good as a storming? Issuing kit. Airsofters. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking airsofters. <laughs> Mate, I've got right, I've got nothing nothing against airsofters, fucking hell, but some of those legends that are out there, Jesus. 
it's um it's interesting it really is 